I'm Chef Amy Hoagie and I want to teach you today how to play with food. First, we're, we're going to be making orzo. Many of you have had questions on how to make orzo and, and what the difference is between that and pasta or rice. Pretty simple, okay? I've got some boiling water back over there. It's almost ready to boil so I can pour in my orzo. But basically, orzo is just a pasta in the form of rice. Okay, that's the only difference. It's not a long grain, it's not a short grain, it's just pasta, okay? So when you cook it for al dente, which means with a little bit of, a little bit of flavor so it's not soggy, you don't want a soggy noodle, it's about nine minutes, okay? It tells you on the package right here. I've, I'm gonna, I measured out a half a cup of orzo. We're gonna pour there in, right when it's beginning to boil. Again, it's not quite there yet. But I'm gonna go ahead and right here, I've got a finished salad that I made using some capers, fresh basil, some chopped uh, pepper, some chopped tomato, and then some celery, okay? And then of course on top a little Parmesan cheese because you have to have a little cheese in there. It's Italian, right? Parmesan. All right, my pasta's done cooking. I'm gonna go get it. And what's really cool about this pasta is it actually does not absorb all the water like a rice would. So don't expect all the water to be gone. It's a pasta, okay? I'm gonna do it a little shake. Now, I also learned from these Italian mamas in, in Italy, I got to go to a cooking school there, to not wash off your pasta because there's starch on there. It's gonna help everything to stick, okay? You want your cheese to stick. You want your vegetables and your herbs to stick to your pasta because you want to have all those flavors together. Go ahead and use my spatula, wipe it right off, okay? So now all I'm gonna do is assemble. I'm gonna dump in my herbs, my tomatoes, my celery, again, small pieces, okay? We're gonna go ahead and give that a mix. Now, I'm not really adding salt. I'm gonna go ahead and add the capers in with a little bit of the juice, okay? Use what you got. You don't have to play around. You don't have to do anything super special. I love capers. They stay forever in the fridge. It's got a nice, like I said, a brine in it. You don't need to um, buy a whole bunch all at once, but you know, buy a little container, they last a long time. Adding some shredded Parmesan, okay? I don't think I need all of that. Of course, how, how much is too much cheese? There's never too much cheese, all right? Go ahead and mix it up. Okay, so here's how to cook orzo. Pretty simple, don't stress out about it. I love it, it's very fast. <clears throat> Seems to be like a rice, it's even starting to melt the cheese. So here's your final product right here, okay? I love it, it's got some fresh basil. So, thank you for joining me, letting me teach you how to play with food. And don't forget to check me out at chefamy.com. Thanks.